America, meet David Lawrence. David Lawrence, meet America. David Lawrence has been a high-level executive for the Shell Oil Corporation for 29 long, glorious, and profitable years. He is the executive vice president of exploration and commercial for Shell's Upstream Americas division, which is a fancy way of saying that he drills the Americas for Shell. Last year, Shell's drilling operations in the Americas got a big boost when the federal government gave Shell, specifically, the okay to start drilling in the Arctic. Lots of oil companies wanted that, but Shell's the one who got the go-ahead. And it was David Lawrence who was put in charge of that. As Shell was gearing up to start drilling in the Arctic, Mr. Lawrence gave an interview to Dow Jones in which he predicted that drilling in the Arctic would be, quote, relatively easy. That turned out to be relatively wrong. After getting the permits to start drilling, Shell just made a hash of it. These are the two rigs they sent up there to start drilling. The one on the left is called the Discoverer. The one on the right is called the Kulik. Well, last summer, the Discoverer nearly ran aground after dragging its anchor through the Aleutian Islands. Four months after that, it had a fire break out in its engine room. Then the U.S. Coast Guard boarded it and found more than a dozen violations involving the rig's safety and pollution equipment. For example, the main engine piston's cooling water was contaminated with sludge and oil. The crew was dealing with it by skimming off the oil with a ladle and a bucket. That's that's nice. Nice. Uh, Safety violations led the Coast Guard to essentially detain that rig in port, and then they referred it to the Justice Department to see if Shell was actually guilty of criminal violations there, too. So that was the discoverer. The other Shell drilling rig is the Kulik. And the Kulik did not just almost run aground, it did run aground. Earlier this year, the Kulik lost power, went adrift, and eventually crashed into an island off the coast of southern Alaska, stranded there for days before they were finally able to drag it away. Well, there's new news to report tonight on the Kulik. The news is that it, too, is now facing a federal criminal investigation. Coast Guard officials saying today that they've completed their investigation into the Kulik. They've now asked the Justice Department to review potential violations that they turned up. So both of Shell's two Arctic drilling rigs, the only two they sent up there, now find themselves under the eye of the United States Justice Department. But remember, drilling in the Alaskan Arctic is relatively easy. This is probably a good time to tell you that earlier this week, Mr. Don't Worry, We've Got This, Arctic Drilling is Going to Be Easy Peasy, announced that he is stepping down from Shell after 29 years with the company. There has long been an effort in this country to open up the Arctic for drilling. Let's let the oil companies run wild up there. Nobody knows how to deal with this stuff better than they do. So far, one company has been allowed to do it. Both of its rigs are facing federal investigations. The executive in charge is out of a job, and Shell has announced that it is calling off all of its drilling operations in the Arctic for the rest of the year. Why is this not a bigger story? Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Have a great night.